Sean John Combs, also known by the stage names Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Puffy, or Diddy, is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer, record executive, actor, and entrepreneur. Combs was born in New York City but was raised in Mount Vernon, New York. He worked as a talent director at Uptown Records before founding his own record label, Bad Boy Entertainment, in 1993. Combs' debut album, No Way Out, has been certified seven times platinum. No Way Out was followed by successful albums such as Forever, The Saga Continues, and Press Play. In 2009, Combs formed the musical group and released the critically well-reviewed and commercially successful album Last Train to Paris. Combs has won three Grammy Awards and two MTV Video Music Awards, and is the producer of MTV's Making the Band. In 2018, Forbes estimated his net worth at $825 million, making him the second richest hip-hop recording artist, after Jay-Z. Sean John Combs was born on November 4, 1969 in Manhattan's Harlem in New York City and was raised in Mount Vernon, New York. His mother, Janice, was a model and teacher's assistant and his father, Melvin Earl Combs, served in the U.S. Air Force and was an associate of convicted New York drug dealer Frank Lucas. At age 33, Melvin was shot to death while sitting in his car on Central Park West, when Combs was two years old. Combs graduated from the Roman Catholic Mount St. Michael Academy in 1987. He played football for the Academy and his team won a division title in 1986. Combs said he was given the nickname Puff as a child, because he would huff and puff when he was angry. Combs was a business major at Howard University but left after his sophomore year. In 2014, he returned to Howard University to receive an honorary doctorate in humanities and deliver the university's 146th commencement address. Combs became an intern at New York's Uptown Records. While talent director at Uptown, he helped develop Jodeci and Mary J. Blige. In his college days Combs had a reputation for throwing parties, some of which attracted up to a thousand participants. In 1991, Combs promoted an AIDS fundraiser with Heavy D held at the City College of New York Gymnasium, following a charity basketball game. The event was oversold, and a stampede occurred in which nine people died. In 1993, after being fired from Uptown, Combs established his new label Bad Boy Entertainment as a joint venture with Arista Records, taking then-newcomer The Notorious B.I.G. with him. Both The Notorious B.I.G. and Craig Mack quickly released hit singles, followed by successful LPs, particularly Notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die. Combs signed more acts to Bad Boy, including Carl Thomas, Faith Evans, 112, Total, and Father M.C. The Hitmen, his in-house production team, worked with Jodeci, Mary J. Blige, Usher, Lil, Kim, TLC, Mariah Carey, Boys Two Men, SWV, Aretha Franklin, and others. Mays and the Locks joined Bad Boy just as a widely publicized rivalry with the West Coast's Death Row Records was beginning. Combs and Notorious B.I.G. were criticized and parodied by Tupac Shakur and Suge Knight in songs and interviews during the mid-1990s. During 1994-1995, Combs produced several songs for TLC's Crazy Sexy Cool, which finished the decade as number 25 on Billboard's list of top pop albums of the decade. In 1997, under the name Puff Daddy, Combs recorded his first commercial vocal work as a rapper. His debut single, Can't Nobody Hold Me Down, spent 28 weeks on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, peaking at number 1. His debut album, No Way Out, was released on July 1, 1997, through Bad Boy Records. Originally titled Hell Up in Harlem, the album underwent several changes after the notorious B.I.G. was killed on March 9, 1997. Several of the label's artists made guest appearances on the album. No Way Out was a significant success, particularly in the United States, where it reached number one on the Billboard 200 in its first week of release, selling 561,000 copies. The album produced five singles, I'll Be Missing You, a tribute to the notorious B.I.G., was the first rap song to debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, it remained at the top of the chart for 11 consecutive weeks and topped several other charts worldwide. Four other singles, Can't Nobody Hold Me Down, It's All About the Benjamins, Been Around the World, and Victory, were also released. 
Combs collaborated with Jimmy Page on the song, Come With Me, for the 1998 film.